singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feel, and I'm happy again. Ooh, 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 I just love that song. And it's the perfect song for this video, which is all about rain, all right? So rain is actually a mindfulness practice that I'm gonna teach you about today. And it's great for a wide range of situations from, um, I've been using it for cravings for food lately. You can use it mainly for negative emotions, any, any kind of negative thoughts or feelings that you have or anything like that. It's a very simple process. So it's called rain. R-A-I-N stands for something, all right? So the first one that we're gonna talk about is R, which stands for recognize. So what we're doing is we're sitting here and we're recognizing what's happening, okay? So this might just be sitting down, getting quiet, and recognizing what you're feeling right now, right? So it could be, this is a craving. This is sadness. This is anxiety. This is loneliness. This is anger, whatever the case may be. See, part of it is that our brain gets wrapped up in the story, but we're not taking the time to recognize that this is just what that feels like, what these body sensations are. So that's what the R is. The next one is by far the most important one, and that is the A, all right? The A is for accept and allow. So, the reason why this is so important is because every natural instinct in our body is telling us to avert any kind of bad feeling, bad situation, and mainly this part of the brain that does that, um, it was basically developed so we averted pain, right? But the problem is that it does that for emotional pain too. So we have this natural tendency to push it away, push it as far away, and what this practice does, we're trying to accept it and allow it, right? If you think about it, when was the last time that you said, I don't wanna be anxious right now, or I don't wanna be sad right now, and that worked? What accepting and allowing it means, for me, is just letting it run its course, recognizing what it feels like, and letting it take up as much space in my body as it needs to. Not the thoughts about what happened and what led to it, but just that body sensation and giving it room to grow and expand and do whatever it needs to do. Because this feeling will pass. It's like so the next one is the letter I, all right? The letter I is for investigate, okay? Now, don't get it twisted. We're not investigating what caused it at this point. What we're doing is investigating what does this feel like? right? Oh, do I feel a tightness in my stomach? For me, I usually, when I have negative emotions, feel tension in my head, in my forehead area. Some of you might notice that um, maybe your legs are tensing up, or your fists, right? When you're angry, something like that. So we're investigating what's happening to my body right now and just being curious about it. Not judging anything that's happening, but just being curious. And lastly, we get down to the end, which is noting. Okay, once this feeling or this craving or whatever it is runs its course, we're gonna mentally note it. We're gonna say, that's what it felt like, right? This is what came up, this is what I experienced, and that's all right. And what that does is, this is where the whole rewire idea comes in. It starts to retrain your brain. Your brain starts to say, oh wow, that's just a feeling, that's just an emotion, that's just a craving, whatever the case may be, and it starts to tell you, oh wow, that's okay, right? So you can use this all day, every day. I highly suggest that you use it the next time you're feeling a, a negative emotion. So just remember, re recognize, accept and allow, investigate it, and note it. And I'll leave you with this. See you next time. Come on with the rain, I have a smile.